So guess who achieved ultimate status? That's right, Palmon! Both of, both of them, actually. Would you like to see a battle? Maybe with Vmon? That's right, buddy, you are a punching bag. You pretty much made this possible. <laughs> I was just kind of over and over again battling them. Not even shaking this to give it, you know, a disadvantage so we could grind up this thing. Again, apologies, Vmon. Thank you for your service. And they still won sometimes, though. It's like I kept telling them to throw the fight, like in wrestling, but then they just didn't listen. At this rate, you're not going to get your bonus. So there's Gerald. There's Gerald Scruffy. And there's Gerald Strong. So we're going to use that. All right, here we go. I'm actually even going to shake this to give it a fair fight. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Let's pitch them against each other and see who comes out. Ah, what? Dude, calm down. Hey, v calm. D hey, Flame Dramon, stop it. Who won? Oh, okay. We'll see. Yeah, that's fine. That didn't count. It didn't count. Oh, okay, fine. We'll try it again. Do you suppose maybe I could just mash this too? Just kind of interrupts the sound and starts it over again. I don't think that's actually doing anything. Okay, please work this time. There we go. A proper fight. There we go. Put put your fists up, gents. Put your fists up. It's Flamedramon versus Zudomon. It's not really a fair fight if you think about it. I mean, Armor Dig Evolving is basically just, well, it's slightly better than Champion, if that. Okay, fight fair, folks. Fight fair. Oh, two blasts. I think. Zo <sighs> Gerald! I think I just got too good at knowing, learning how to shake. This thing, back when we ran the D2 and the D3, like, you gotta go that, you gotta go that nice slow rhythm, right? You gotta be consistent. Okay, fine. Well, we're gonna give Palmon a chance now, because apparently Gerald's just not feeling it today. So there's Palmon, there's Togemon, and Lilymon. Finally, for once, a digital pet that has enough pixels to convey that she is woman. And... Fight. Okay, uh, Flamedramon, if you could please... Chill the- oh, nope, it's just Vmon this time. Uh-oh. Okay, Lilymon, try to take it easy. I mean, don't take it too easy on him, I don't know. Vmon is a little tricky. Sometimes he doesn't even digivolve and he still kicks our butt. Okay. Yes, okay, you can tell in the fourth hit, whichever one of them gets the double blast, they win. And there goes Palmon. Ah, thank you, Vmon. I don't know if you actually lost or if you were just trying to stop me from being frustrated, but I appreciate the thought either way. If you- if you lost genuinely, then BOOM! That's what you get! Something I did notice though on the win stat screen is that there is, as you can see, another set of wins to make. There are the mega forms in this thing, which is, you know, I guess standard. I, I would be surprised if there weren't. I just for some reason wasn't expecting it, I guess. What's next for Lilymon? Is it Rosemon? I don't know, I, I've actually forgotten what they did in the show because I've been playing Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth and that's just, you know, I did evolve Lilymon into Rosemon and that's just kinda. So now that's my canon. Whoops. You know, I just realized when I was looking at some of my older videos, I used to have like just a bunch of digital pets up here and it made the place look nice. Ignore the fact that this one's dead. That's that's my girlfriend's and I found it the other day and I'm just kind of taking its corpse under my wing. All right, everyone get on here. We need some more color in this backdrop. Oh, hey everyone, remember these guys? Remember how they, they... What? Oh, the battery's dead. Well, at least it has a safe function. I think I actually might have taken out the batteries. I really want to be more careful about that. I have a lot of these that still have the battery in them and stuff, and it's not exactly safe. There, it's a little more colorful. I mean, it is a lot of muted tones and grays going on in here, but I'm a man, or I mean, a, <clears throat> I'm a big boy, and I need big boy colors. Next on the agenda is, of course, the fact that we have five step five. Good lord, I had this thing set to 50 before we started this video. You really are sensitive sometimes. In the wrong ways though, I did notice that unfortunately, when I'm walking, I kind of have to duck stomp before I really get consistent steps on this thing. It's really weird. Like when you tilt it back, it tends to suddenly start counting. Like, look at that, she just started walking, look. Just... And then she just starts walking. But when it's upright like this, the steps are, I don't know. I don't know if it's like my unit specifically that's doing this and it's a mistake or if that's just the way it is, but I don't know. I guess they want you to run, not walk. Uh, what? I didn't even mean to. I didn't even shake it, but there, there's Edamon. All right, let's fight the monkey dude. Hopefully he doesn't fart on us. All right, Batoto start. Let's Shinka into, what? Oh, do I have to go up a level per, per turn? Ah, okay, get ready. It's about to like suddenly hit. It's gonna suddenly say ready. It really, it really gets you. <gasps> yes, go Togemon, shoot. Sh oh, geez, I hope you have more of those gloves. I hope they're not expensive. Or really, I guess if you have fighting gloves, you really should like invest in some decent ones. That's unfortunate. Okay, Shinka again. We're going to evolution. Is it because that's what Shinka means? Well, sorry. Digivolve! Oh boy. 
Gah, crap. I saw that coming. My, my thumb was not in it. It was not, like, honestly, this angle is not good. It doesn't, like, th three? Oh, no. Should I switch to a friend? Should I switch to Gerald? Because if I take another hit, we lose. Oh, that would be awful. I'm worried, but I want to put it all on Lilymon. Please, please, please. Oh, thank you. We got it. Woo, what was that? Just a giant ball of thorns. That's gnarly, girl. <laughs> yes, we got him. We put it on the line, and Lilymon came through. Good job. Good job. You earned those Mentos. You earned them. Wonderfully done. And what a jaunty ditty. So what's next? We cleared this first island. Does that mean we go to another island, or did we just win everything? What happened? 9,999. Okay, check the map, and... Oh! It's odd because in the actual animation we just saw, as you you were there, I don't know why I'm I'm saying this, but like, we didn't see this. It didn't show us this. It showed us, oh, okay, here we go. So yeah, this is next. That's what we're headed toward. 10,000 steps. Holy cow, this thing really takes a lot. 20,000 steps overall. I mean, you know, good for my health, I guess, because I went to the exercise room today and I went hard. You know when you, when you exert yourself a little too much and then you get that weird sick sweet feeling in your chest and you start getting lightheaded? I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. I seriously like took out my phone and it had my thumb over like the emergency dial. <laughs> it's not, probably shouldn't push myself so much. And don't be impressed. It's like I seriously go down there. Like I avoid going down there because I know that's what's gonna happen. So like I end up like not exercising consistently because I'm like, I'm gonna only exercise a moderate amount and it's gonna be healthy and I'm gonna be a better person. But then I get down there and I'm like, I start listening to music. I get all pumped up because I have two hearts, okay? I have one heart that that is, that is filled with fire and passion and wants to be the strongest, the fastest. Well, I, the fastest is impossible, I have short legs, but they wanna be they wanna be the best, you know? And then I got this other heart that just wants to play Stardew Valley and for everyone to leave me alone. So it's, you know, not very consistent. Not, probably even not healthy. I'm saying moderation is the key, but like, since when does anyone ever wanna hear that? Oh, that's right. That's why I don't have these on here anymore because now I have to move them all off so I can draw stuff. What did I do before? So anyway, this was a, actually an older suggestion. It's at this point, like what, six days ago or so? Uh, Daniel Vega, who was a super dog, they had actually followed my uh, my videos before when I used to do gaming stuff. And anytime that I would stream Splatoon, they would get on there and we'd have a great time. I mean, he would destroy me. I, I could barely ever like get a hit in on him, but like it was fun. So they suggested it would be cool if you could draw us as squids back in the days when you streamed Splatoon and played with us fans. It's kind of weird to say fans. I don't know. I don't I don't even know if many people would call themselves my fan. You guys just kind of wander in, right? And then you you leave when you realize there's not a, like a, a free buffet because there's not. I got some Swedish meatballs in the fridge, but you can't have them. They're mine. So yes, as Daniel Vega does go on to say, it's not a, it's not a Digimon drawing. But they all don't specifically, explicitly have to be Digimon, and it's good to have a little bit of diversity, huh? Let's bring the squids in, all right? So, as you can see here, um, that's me uh, dying in Splatoon, because that, that happened a lot. Uh, and there would be Superdog with a charger. It's been so long, I don't even remember what our characters looked like. I mean, in Splatoon 1, you had, like, two choices, right? Three choices? Either way, they weren't all that great. Anyway, here we go. Look at my skinny little squid legs. Little squinny. Squ squinny little squid. I should stop trying to make squid words. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but this is starting to, the pen's starting to act a little screwy. I don't know what happened with this pen. I guess eventually all microns, like all, everything must die. Now this part's tricky. Because one, I don't really remember what the charger looked like in Splatoon. Basically this, it was Splatoon's, you know, sniper rifle. And I also, with the perspective and the crampedness, I kind of have to like skew this perspective here. I, I, you'll, you, you know what I'm going for though. You, you feel me, yeah? The squid tank is gonna actually end up going under her tentacle here though. Does anyone else have this problem where like you can't say tentacle without feeling like you, someone's going to assume you're talking about something gross? I don't know if I should blame Japan or my own mind. It's hard to tell which. Uh, okay, I'm now realizing how kind of crooked this is. I always do this when I draw chargers. I mean, it, it, this is what I intended. It's, 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 it's a perspective trick. Perspective. It's just a perspective trick, folks. Man, I love Splatoon so much. At least I love the idea of it. I kind of, and that kind of makes me sad too. Like, I love the characters. I, you know, I, when I think about it, I think I want to play. But then when I start playing, I start just getting all emotional and mad. You know, I mean, of course that's not Splatoon's fault. That's my own issue. But like, I'm not very good at handling the intensities of, of online multiplayer combat. I was raised in a single player 
you know, home console world. I, I don't, I'm just not used to that kind of thing. I've gotten better, of course. Like, I, I used to not be able to play online at all without just having, like, a near panic attack. It kind of feels, I, I kind of feel embarrassed to tell you guys this. It's kind of pathetic. But, like, you know, even now, like, my heart still races when I play multiplayer games. And, uh... Afterward, like, I gotta, like, go lie down and calm down and stuff. Just, like, I, I'm so bad with confrontation on most times. Like, I, I can handle stuff under pressure. I can get stuff done. But, like, do you remember the other day I told you about how Lily had done that, like, her own solo ham bone thing? And that she was fine, but then afterwards she was like, I'm freaking out! Like, that's exactly what I do. And now we're doing final details, which is just sparklies. Usually when I find myself at the end of a drawing and I'm like, what is missing? I don't think about it anymore, and then I just put sparklies and call it a day. There! That feels good. Now I'm gonna go with over with a brush and block out some things that I'll just go ahead and do in black. I might do uh, the girl's ink as dark and, uh, you know, this ink as something lighter. Oh, now it looks like blood. Okay, you guys, it's not blood, it's dark ink. It's dark blue ink. It is my least favorite color on Splatoon, but like, it's, it's not... Here, I'm gonna have to like block this in so... That looks... There. That's a little... <laughs> and oh, I don't know, add some action lines. <laughs> Huh. Huh. Perfect. I just made that look so easy. Wonderful! Thanks for the suggestion, Superdog. Uh, Daniel Vega, or however you prefer to be referred to as. Leave some more suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for coming by. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one!